I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another video. The FIFA 21 reveal trailer has just gone live. I did record a video for it, but then EA tweeted this out uh, moments after I'd finished making the video. And it's basically details of gameplay and, and such, and all the features that were mentioned within the trailer. So uh, there's me speculating, and it's written down for me. So, Winners 1 is the tagline. I would assume... It's because you can now invite friends to Volta and there is a foot co-op mode um, of some description. Whether we get any more information here. I've not read this actually, so we'll have to get into it and have a look. So let's expand on this a little bit and get reading. Because like I said, I haven't read any of it. So, uh, FIFA 21 rewards you for your creativity and control all over the pitch. Create more scoring opportunities with all new dynamic attacking systems in the most intelligent FIFA gameplay to date. Uh, explode past defenders with the new agile dribbling system. Pretty sure we've had a new dribbling system every year. Uh, faster footwork gives you more control and responsiveness in one-on-one -on -one situations. And new skill moves like the bridge dribble and ball roll fake turn provide you with the means to explode past defenders. New positioning personality raises the importance of positional awareness. World-class forwards will hold their runs and stay level with the last defender to stay on side. Playmakers will hunt for space to operate between the lines, while the best defenders will close down passing lanes more effectively to make it harder for the opposition to create opportunities. Creative runs give you new options for influencing your team's movement off the ball, uh, revolutionizing attacking build-up play in FIFA 21 and providing you with more ways to break down the defense. This is just a lot of jargon in my opinion like until we actually see everything that they're talking about in action it's very difficult to imagine a system that actually works they they talk about it every year we've introduced this we've introduced that now you should feel this and this and it, it never really comes to fruition this is it's all positive stuff on paper but until we actually see it working then i do reserve judgment in FIFA 21, key footballing moments including goal mouth scrambles, battles for possession in the midfield, and attacking duels will resolve more naturally than ever before, resulting in smoother encounters between players as they strive to reach the ball. Informed by feedback from the community... Community... Comma. Uh, revisions to the fundamentals of football in FIFA raise the game throughout the pitch. Uh, the manual headers... More balanced blocking, more intelligent passing, and increased responsiveness, giving you more control off the ball. Now, if that's true, then that's amazing, because I hate FIFA 20 right now with a passion, because every time I try to play it, it's either on a Wednesday night, when everyone's trying to strive for rival rewards, and I just cannot get... I, it's just... It's, ho it's awful. It's so heavy and, and just bad. And uh, ch Foot Champs is exactly the same. On the weekends, everyone is overloading the servers, because they're all trying to play Foot Champs, and it just feels terrible. And I, I, that's why I hate the game. I don't actually mind the uh, the gameplay itself this year. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I just hate the uh, I hate the uh, the heaviness and the, the non-responsiveness. The amount of times you try and do a heel to heel fl flick and it just doesn't listen. Uh, and then finally, replicating the play style of the best FIFA players in the world, the competitor mode setting gives you gives your opposition a better grasp of skill moves, dribbling types, and tactics to give you a more challenging, rewarding opponent to match up with on Legendary and Ultimate Difficulty. So basically, they are making Legendary and Ultimate Difficulty even better to give you more of a challenge for those of you who can just walk past Ultimate Difficulty, whoever you freaks may be, because I can't do that. Um, career mode, now there was a little bit in the trailer that showed essentially this, right? So this is career mode, and this is Liverpool against Dortmund, and this is the sim mode. Now, it's very football manager-esque, and I love it because I like I love football manager, but I can't really play football manager and upload it to YouTube because people just don't care from, from, from my point of view. And I like playing football manager a, a lot, but I love FIFA in general, and the career mode aspect of FIFA has always sort of gotten away from me because it's very linear. Adding this in gives you just a little bit extra, just another dimension. If I don't want to play the game, I can go in, 
sim the game. It will... I'm not even reading this, but this is just what I'm seeing from, from this. I can see that we're in the 21st minute here. It's nil-nil. Let's just assume I'm controlling Liverpool, because who wouldn't want to do that? And Dortmund are all over me. And Dortmund have hit the post twice. We're, we're playing really badly. They're playing really well. There's a button down there, X. It says jump in. My assumption is that I can now just jump in. 21st minute, it'll load me straight into the game and I can actually play from there on. If Dortmund score early on, I'm thinking, do you know what, this isn't working. Let me jump in. That is going to be fantastic and that will make me almost want to play career mode because the, the, the sort of recording a career mode for me takes an awful lot of time to get two, three, four, five games into one episode. So... If I can do this where I can sim maybe the first half and play the second half or play the... I would be interested if you could just play a half and then sim out. So like jump out. Is that... Maybe that's a FIFA 22 fe feature. I don't know. Let's read this though. Uh, new additions create additional depth in matches. Transfers and training to give you more control over your team's rise to the top. Experience a whole new way to play out your season with the new interactive match sim. Jump in and out. Oh, brilliant. Uh, of matches to influence the course of the... Do you know what? That's fantastic. That's that's better than the, the co-op ultimate team announcement. Better than Cantona. I don't even play career mode that often, but now I will. Because the fact that I can jump in, help my team to maybe get a goal, or help my team defend a certain situation, and then jump back out again and let them get on with it, is brilliant. Now I'm actually very tempted to start a career mode in FIFA 21, because of this system. I won't have to play every game. This is going to be interesting to watch. We can literally sit down and I can chop it down into the highlights of what happens. It's going to be... Obviously, I know it's only 2D. And I'm guessing you can't change the way you look at it. Maybe you can't just watch the game and jump in when you want. That would be even better again. But yeah, it'll be interesting. I, I, I do like it so far though. Um, where was I reading? <clears throat> I was reading... Uh, I've... I have lost my place. Uh, jump in and out of the matches to influence the course of the action or take charge of key moments, including penalties and free kicks. That is genius uh, to change the outcome of the match. Monitor match data and make changes directly from the sim based. What? Directly from the sim based on the match stats. Don't think that makes sense, EA, but we'll let you, we'll let you off. And your players' performance levels and stamina. Manage a player's development in greater detail with a revamped growth system. Turn right, turn right backs into right wingers. Fantastic. Defensive mielder, mielders, midfielders into centre backs and more to fill gaps in your team. And monitor players' attribute changes during training to see how your squad is progressing. I love it. That is fantastic. I mean, that's going to add so much more to career mode. And I'm not even a career mode YouTuber, but now I think I will be because that sounds really good. Get more insight into your squad's performance levels with Match Sharpness, a new attribute that includes, uh, that indicates, sorry, how likely your players are to perform in the most crucial moments during the course of a game. Increase your player's sharpness with a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions to improve the likelihood of your strikers putting big chances away or defenders making key tackles. There's a lot going on here. Uh, plan your team's training schedule with a new activity management system. Decide when to train and when to rest during the week as you balance your player's sharpness with morale and fitness to make difference between the winning and losing. I'll tell you what, they're trying to gear so much toward Football Manager, which is definitely not a bad thing because the, the depth that they're showing here is a lot compared to previous years. Um, en enhanced Opposition AI sees opponents approach games with more intelligence in both defense and attack. New systems create more informed AI decision making uh, in marking, tackling, passing and dribbling to present you with more challenges during each match and keep your career fresh from game to game. To game. This is brilliant so far. I love this. Um, FIFA 21 career mode enhances transfer realism by providing both human and AI controlled teams with new ways to sign players. Make loan to buy offers. So a loan with an option to buy, um, is it? Is that what it, is that what they're saying? With optional mandatory tr future transfer fees. That's that's fantastic. It's such a simple thing that they've needed to implement for so many years. Well, ever. Um, 
to secure new talent for your team and respond to AI managers initiated player swap proposals as you look to master the transfer market. Customize your career mode with new initial setup options. Get more true to life experience of negotiation signings on the transfer market with authentic transfers or boost your team's starting budget to help you build your squad in a financial takeover. That is phenomenal. Uh, I love every detail of that career mode so far. Let's jump into what this channel is based around, and that is going to be FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I can't imagine they're going to give us a lot of information here, but it might be enough to keep me entertained. So, win together, get rewarded together. So that's obviously talking about the, the co-op mode, and that is going to be the second uh, sentence or second paragraph we get into. Enjoy brand new ways to play the most popular mode in FIFA as you build your dream squad of players past and present in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Foot Co-op lets you team up with a friend and compete for rewards. Join forces in both division rivals and squad battles to earn weekly progress and work towards brand new co-op objectives that reward playing together beyond winning on the pitch. It's going to be very interesting and it might mention it further along, I don't know. But it would be very interesting to know whether... I'm, I'm guessing you just get paired up against anyone. So a co-op team could be paired up against a solo I hate playing against co-op players if I'm a solo because they have a distinct advantage of being able to cut passing lanes manually with two players, which is unfair in my opinion. So it would be interesting to see whether co-op can get paired up against um, solos or are they strictly against other co-op players. Doesn't say. Obviously, it's not in uh, foot champs, so they must think, well, it's an unfair advantage. So how is it okay in rivals? Squad battles is kind of cool, although I don't think many would really do it, but we'll see. Uh, make your foot club truly unique with a range of new and expanded ways to customize your team's look, both on uh, the pitch and in the stands, which I like. That sounds really good. Uh, one foot club. If you upgrade to the next generation consoles using uh, dual entitlement, you can take your foot club from PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X and back again, which is interesting. Why would you want to go? Anyway, um, with cross-gen transfer... Right, cross vent Right, that's fine. Cross-gen transfer market and leaderboards in Foot21. Um, discless consoles require digital purchase of entire... So, that for a second got me a little bit excited because it said cross-gen. But what it means is the PlayStation 4 market and the PlayStation 5 market will be the same. And the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X market will be the same. It doesn't mean that PlayStation and Xbox markets are going to be inter interlinked. They should be, and the same goes for PC as well. They should all be one market, in my opinion, and cross-play. But uh, EA apparently don't want to do that for whatever reason. Volta, I'll read this briefly. I don't care too much, but it's just going to be... There was a little bit there that kind of got me like, well, I wonder what that means. Um... Experience the soul of the streets together with friends as you show off your style in cages and courts around the world throughout various forms of small-sided football. What? Uh, experience a more social street football with Volta squads, a new way to join together with up to three friends um, or drop into the community with other Volta football players and win as one in 5v5. So hang on a minute. You can drop in and play 5v5, but I can only play... 4v4 or 3v3 if i want to play with specific people how does that make any sense that's not fair experience a more social street football with volta squads a new way to join together with up to three friends so does that mean with up to as in i can have three friends including me so that's three or is it three friends and myself which is four either way we're still not getting the five on five we're getting three on three or four on four or maybe there's an AI-controlled goalkeeper. Either way, I don't really like that. You know, we'll give you what you want, but not really, you know. And then if you want to go jump in to a 5v5 online cooperative, you can. But you can't play with specific... That, that's so... I mean, if I'm reading that right, then that is so dull. Um, play with... Do you know what? I don't even care about the rest of it. Oh, that was the bit I wanted to know. And... It's kind of let me... I mean, I wouldn't have played it anyway, but I mean, I can imagine for people who want, who want to play it, that's going to let them down. Play with new game pacing, intelligent squad movement, and more rewarding blah, 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 blah. Customize your male or female avatar with new apparel from professional 
football clubs, street football collectives and celebrity design collections. Recruit the biggest names in the world of football and beyond and beyond. Uh, who, who is the, how can you go beyond the world's biggest names in football uh, to your Volta squad, Volta squad in the featured battles? Whatever. Is there anything underneath that? Uh, unrivaled authenticity. So those are all of the leagues that we have. Uh, Libertadores makes a return. The Super Cup is in it now. I, I don't know if there's anything there that I'm that I'm not seeing that is new. I'm not sure. I think I think that's I think it's it's all the same, right? There's there's no um that I not that I'm seeing. I don't know if that's everything, but there's no SPFL, which is interesting i might be wrong it might be there or it might be just not one of the like featured partners or something but either way um yeah so interesting stuff ultimate team doesn't really give an awful lot away it, it was never going to career mode sounds fantastic gameplay in general i mean they say the right things will it work we'll have to wait and see all in all though it's it's to be honest a little bit more information that well, a lot more information than i thought we were going to get i thought we were going to get a cinematic trailer that didn't show an awful lot. We got a small hint of gameplay. We've had some news. We've got a new icon, a feature or two that people wanted. And yeah, uh, they've gone a little bit more in depth with career mode, which I really do like. But yeah, what do you think of it? In the comments, let me know. I, I was going to do, I I'm already recorded it. It's rendered in the background of me reacting to the trailer. There's no point me putting that out now because it's an awful lot of I wonder if they'll do this or do that. I wonder what co-op means, blah, blah, blah. It's all written down here. So there's not really an awful lot of point me releasing that. So you can have this instead. But let me know what you think of that um, bunch of information and the trailer in the comments. Are you excited? Do you not care? Does that sort of pique an interest that maybe you didn't have before, like myself with career mode? Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.